Hi guys, um, today I've treated myself to one of these handheld um, thermal imaging cameras. It's a, a new one by Topton. They do a couple of different models. Uh, this one is the TC004. Um, I believe there is a slightly higher model, a TC005. Um, but for the money, um, I chose this one as it covers off everything I need it to do. Uh, can be used around the house, at home, um, in a workshop environment for cars to detect heat losses um, and heating issues. So you can use it for plumbing as well around the house to find, um, you know, hot water pipes, um, cold spots in, 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 in areas of your home. Um, but yeah, this one's come in a fairly small box, um, measuring just under 30 centimetres. Um, and it's, uh, it seems to be well packaged. Um, it's a handheld imaging camera um, and it can be connected to your PC um, to download the images. So um, that's why I got it, so I could review them at a later date. Um, the box itself has a specifications on it. Um, it's got a, a great battery life, which I thought was beneficial because it can be kept in the van or in the workshop. Um, it has 15 hours, which I'm sure you'll never use in one day. Um, uh, a good screen size there, 2.8 inches. Um, and uh, inbuilt RAM of 512 meg um, and it's got a good resolution um, and it is exactly there so it's got a measurement range from minus 4 to 1022 Fahrenheit or minus 20 degrees to 550 degrees so that should be more than ample or more than enough for, for a workshop or for a plumber or even for an electrician um, as you could use this to see if there's any loose connections any thermal leakage within a consumer unit so that would be handy as well um so we'll get on to opening the box like i said it's only like a sh small shoe box size um, and we'll have a look at the device inside so it's the first time i've opened it um it is packaged really well um and inside here we have a carry case um that's for the actual um the thermal imaging camera itself i'm guessing there's going to be a charger there's an instruction manual um, a calibration card there, um, uh, so that's got the serial number which I won't display. Um, and then we've got the user manual, um, guessing in a few different languages, yeah. Um, and that's all there as well. Um, product certificate, and then these appear to be the, the uh, plug adapters for the foreign markets, the USB cable, uh, which I won't get out of my bag. And the camera itself um, appears to have a, a what appears to be a tripod mount of some sort. So you probably can mount it on a tripod if you want to monitor an, an area for a, a duration of time. Um, and yeah, it's, it's handheld. It's not that big. Um, it's no bigger than the box itself, obviously. Um, and it is like a, a, a very light to the hand, nimble piece of kit to use. Um, you know, it's not heavy at all. Um, and it's and it's yeah it's all, 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 to, all together seems fairly durable the top here we've got um as you can see usb connectivity um and memory connectivity so i'm guessing you can upgrade the ram um it's probably beyond those two screws but i'm yet to find out um and yeah let's uh go ahead and get this uh powered on it's got a screen protector on it as you can see um so it looks fairly good there uh, so, four button operation with a toggle, um, the button seemed fairly sturdy as well, um, I'll power it on and see what comes up. So it's very quick to load, I mean that took next to no time at all to turn on, um, and as you can see you've got a centre marker there, um, and that's telling you the, the temperature of um, anything that's within range. So. You know, I'm sure, pretty sure it covers a wide range. I will test it on a heating circuit quickly on some hot water pipes. Uh, and I'll also test it in a car, maybe to the air vents. So uh, we'll have a look at that. Um, has got a zoom function, which is pretty handy. Uh, four times, two times, four times. And that's that. Uh, a playback feature. Um, I mean, I haven't read the instruction manuals. But you can delete all the photos on it, um, which there's one. 
there is a trigger button here um, and I'm guessing that is the button that um, allows you to uh, when pressed or when depressed if I, it allows you to save the image choose whether you want to save it it's not a touch screen but it does use the uh, the toggle buttons on the actual uh, you can see it lit up blue to cancel the save of the image um, but yeah we'll go on to test the heating circuit quickly and then we'll also test a uh, test it on a vehicle and see how it performs so here we have a typical uk um, hot water system hot water central heating system um, and what we're aiming to do here is i have just called for the demand of hot water um, and you can see that inside this boiler here um, so that boiler is now fired up um, and you can see the hot water tap symbol there has come to light and what we're aiming to do is see if we can see which hot water, which pipes are feeding hot water and um, without actually knowing um, off the top of our head so i've got a little nifty gadget in hand so push and hold to turn it on um, and here we have uh, you could almost say it's like an x-ray image of the pipes and the system itself um, so you can see the copper pipes there on the screen uh, just about and you can see which ones are generating heat and you can see on the display there that it's displaying temperature on the center dot of those pipes getting warmer and warmer um, and the pipe the, the the heat is increasing so it is very clever in what it can do um, again you can see the same there but if I wave it over a pipe that's not active all of a sudden the temperature drops its accuracy obviously is something I haven't got a thermometer to double check or a laser thermometer to double check but you get the idea that there is hot water flowing through those pipes and you can see all the way up all the way down um, and pretty impressive so I'm going to show you it in a car um, with a heating system on in a car and an AC and I'll show you the difference between the vents and the temperature. So we're now in a vehicle um, with the heating or the, the AC system currently off. Um, as you can see there's a fairly steady temperature recording coming from the air vent there. Um, so what I will do is now I'm going to turn on the, uh, the AC as you can see here. Um, set it to its lower setting, excuse the fan noise uh, which is going to be in the background of this video, um, there's AC on there as we can see on this lower setting and I've set it to come out through the vents at the front and what we should notice if this is all as it says it should be is a massive drop in the temperature there, you can see where the centre line is it's dropping quite quickly with the cold AC blowing, trying to keep a steady hand holding the camera and the device um, yeah, it is going down slowly as the car kicks in, 62, 61, so I think as that gets colder and colder and the AC blows colder, yeah, you can see it's dropping off quicker now as the AC is kicking in, um, so yeah, I mean it's a brilliant device, I mean if you're, if you're working on a ventilation system or an AC system you wanted to check where the, you know, whether the cold air was coming through or whether part of it was blocked or you know, the temperature's dropped right the way down from 70 Fahrenheit down to 50 now. They're still dropping, and I'm guessing it will level out at some point. Um, I can't, I don't know off the top of my head what the uh, the actual average temperature is in, in an AC vehicle, but we're down in the nearly hitting 40s now. Um, and it is instant. I mean, you know, I can move it away onto the top of the dashboard, um, and there you go, where the sun is hitting the dashboard, there is a massive temperature drop. Bring it back down to the AC. Um, and you can see it's at 45, 46, so it's instantaneous. It is, it is really clever the way it works. Um, and it has got a couple of different modes. Um, so you can flick the uh, uh, flick it to different grayscale modes. You can see it in a color mode, so that you've got a color, color chart there indicating what temperatures there are. Um, and you can see that particular vent is colder. Top of the dash is yellow, which is a lot hotter. Um, and uh, yeah, 
and you can see where the AC is coming through the vents on the, both the central vents of the car. There's a whole cool ring around it, um, and even on the passenger side there, there is a cool ring that you can flip the mode to get it to give us different colour representations. Um, so yeah, all in all, really good piece of kit. Um, something you could probably play around with around the home for hours on end. Um, you know, the battery is fully charged, it was shipped to me fully charged. Um, and it cost me a little over 200, 200 pounds. Um, I don't know what that is in dollars, but it's, you know, it is a great, um, great buy for the money. And I mean, back in the day, if you're looking for a piece of kit like this, you'd probably be paying thousands for it. Um, and to have a home device or something that anyone can use for this amount of money is, is quite impressive. I'll kill the AC now and uh, show you the color change. And then the top of the dashboard is hot, it is sunny, um, about 15 degrees outside. Um, obviously through glass it's going to be a higher temperature reading. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a clever piece of kit. Um, I'll do one more demonstration on an internal on an engine bay uh, just to show you we can measure anything. So here we have a, uh, the same vehicle, engine bay, that we're looking at. Um, I had to kill the engine. But it has run for a few minutes and you can see there isn't heat. Um, I mean it would be great for testing things like glow plugs to see if they're getting hot. Um, you know you could check your oil temperature, you could look for any hot or cold spots on the car itself. I mean, if I come right out with the camera as well it's a bit difficult to record but you can see where the engine has warmed up um, and where there's areas of heat and um, you know we're looking at hundreds and 131 um, if you get it on something that's relatively hot, 149 Fahrenheit and I'm sure it would go right the way through um, I mean you can check coolant coolant temperatures if you can point it in the right place and hold the phone at the same time to record um, but yeah it's it's showing you hear a clicking noise when it does register with a, a, a heat source or, or what you're pointing it at um, you know if I is over here, the top of the engine is, is definitely hot, so um, yeah, very handy to look at. Um, I mean, you could use this as comparatively uh, with a diagnostics machine to check the engine temperature, um, especially on something like a track car where you may not, you know, have the, the necessary gauging to measure. Um, but yeah, all in all, a really good piece of kit. And I've had it on for a few minutes now and the battery hasn't moved, so I'm guessing the 15 hour battery life is, is true to its word. So I thought I'd do one last video, just showing a um, something a little bit different, but it's a household item that I'm sure most people have in the freezer. Um, got a tub of ice cream here. Um, I have cracked the lid off already to make it easier to open for the video. Um, and I'll just put the lid aside. So as you can see, it's well frozen and I just wanted to test the minus range on the uh, the device itself. Um, so if I bring that into vision, you can see the work surface is, you know, an average temperature, 60 Fahrenheit. And if I wave that onto the ice cream, um, I'll flick it so it's on one of the color screens. So you get a better indication. There we go, it's probably a bit clearer. So I'm holding over the ice cream and we can see it's dropping off as it measures, uh, there we go, go there. So if we hold that over in the area of the ice cream just there, it's dropping off now the temperature. Yeah, as you can see, the, the ice cream melts fairly quick and um, the temperature has adjusted. Um, 
there we are it's minus minus 13 Fahrenheit says there so um, yeah, pretty impressive um, pretty sure this works off quite a long range but you know if we there are probably more options I could explore on this um, if I wanted to this is avoid frequent use of that button which is fine um, go back turns off that's just a screen save button so to, to, to put it into standby almost um, there we have the, the playback button to view the photos and it says delete one of one um, I don't think I've stored anything in there as yet so go back yeah really good piece of kit from Top Don um, I'll be exploring this more in my own time um, it's a uh, very small um, and I would like I would love to get a tripod for it um, I don't know how easy it is to replace the, the batteries and guessing it charges off of USB up there um, but it would be interesting to see how um, how long the actual batteries last in terms of lifespan overall lifespan and if they do live up to the 15 hours use um, long term but yeah it's, it's a great piece of kit um, and it's inexpensive in my eyes for, for what is something that can be used in multiple uses around the home or in a workshop or as a plumber or electrician um, to detect heat sources or heat loss um, or cold spots even so yeah well done topped on to this one um, and you know I keep buying their gadgets um, and 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 for the value, value for money it's definitely impressive um, like share and subscribe this video and if you want to see more content, uh, let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll try and buy some more bits as I save my money in there and keep them going. Um, keep the videos going. Hopefully the subscribers go up. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks for your time.